no one is buying this stuff right now. What is happening on this beautiful summer day? We're gonna go thrifting in this Goodwill. It's a really small Goodwill, but it's awesome because not a lot of people go to it. Let's go thrifting. Hopefully we'll find some good things for you and I will at least teach you some things not to pick up. Hopefully we find some things to pick up. Let's go. All right, so what I always do is I come in, I look at the brand new cards they have out, like all these you see here, and there'll be some over there. And we're looking at the tags. So the new tags of the week are yellow. So those are going to be the tags I look at throughout the store. Our stores don't have half off. Look, this is a nice little Prana piece. Size small. Women's. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how Prana women's. I'm going to have to think about that one. But yeah, anyways, they don't have sale tags at my location. So we are, there's George. Everyone loves George. So we're just going to look for uh, the new tags of the week. So it's a fresh inventory. I know black was last week, and then I don't care about any of the other tags because those were weeks prior, and they've been just, I've looked through them, and also other people have just looked through them a ton. I might always miss something, but I like to get through the stores pretty quickly, as most of you know. We're going to look through this cart, though. Yellowstone. That show is so popular. And then some kid stuff. Not really into kid stuff, but definitely into vintage t-shirt type of stuff. Christopher Scott. No, Billabong, REI, no, 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 Quicksilver, not, nah. all right, so no go on that cart, hey, how's it going, these look like bird dogs, but they're not, bird dogs kind of have that, they just had that short look, these are speedo, way off, but bird dogs are definitely a pickup, so looking through these, a lot of kids clothing, not into kids clothing, bam, bam, baby, can you say boom, baby? Fly like me, Jordan? Nah, all right, let's go over here to the new carts over here. And then we'll go over and look at those shoes that can just roll down. So, oh, wow, lots of new carts. You never know. This store is, um, the store gets lots of shipments in from other Goodwills. So, let's we'll see what they have. Good morning, how you doing? Doing well. Doing all dresses. All right, I must, I must scooch out of there then. Go to the other side. All right, got some skis. Definitely be on the lookout for skis. Those are older, I can tell, but skis can be really good. People donate them, and then you can sell them on Facebook Marketplace. Look, anthropology. Anthropology dress. Hmm. Seven ninety nine. I have no idea. I have no idea about this. It's a large. Anthropology, I don't even know what you call that. That's why I'm so bad at women's clothing. Uh, every Michael Star don't know that one either. Dang, but since they have anthropology, ooh, squeezing them tight. Sorry about that, crew. But since they have anthropology, it could mean they have something. Could mean they have something. Volcom, no. No Volcom. For me, Flax, there we go. There's our first hit. Flax is a good brand, women's brand. Um, flax is linen, and it's three ninety nine, so even better. So we'll take that flax. Like I said, since that anthropology was on here, there's a good chance you find something else on here that was good. And that was the case. So we're gonna go with that endless. Again, if I pass something that's women's, you guys can just yell at me in the comments later because I'm still learning women's. I know I said earlier I've been selling for a long time. I have, but mostly men's. I'm trying to learn everything now. What is that brand? Studio Kai? LA? Nah. Nope, nope, nope. Free People Movement. I'm not getting that. Free People Movement. Um, you can buy it pretty cheap now at some discount stores. Good American. Good American, like, leopard or scale print jeans? Good American or pants? I'll have to look that up. I know Good American is a nice brand to be on the lookout for, but I don't know about those. So we'll have to look those up here in a minute. We'll look those up together. Why? There's that anthropology. We'll come over here, see what they have over here. So they have some similar stuff. A flax dress would be pretty good, right? There's a blazer, men's blazer. Ben Houston, definitely not. Not! Yeah, let's go look at the shoes. Let's go look at the shoes. All right. We're looking at the shoes, we have some Allbirds tall. These are Allbirds like ankle. They're actually black, but they're they're faded, like sun faded. 
All birds don't really do great for me, so I'm not going to get those. And Fila got some. Uh, how many of you guys would actually eat that pasta? Isn't that funny? These are obviously for show, but I wonder what it would be like to eat that pasta. That would be a good, like, Mr. Beast video. Sketchers. No. 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 What's that? Can I call it? No. No. All right, let's go down and look at the aisle. So, Flax and Good American. So, we're going to look at Flax and Good American. Now, it's time to get to the men's all oh, These little Adidas. Look how cute those are. So cute. All right. So, let's get in the men's. We're looking for yellow tags and a few black. Because I might have missed some black from last week. But definitely yellow. Definitely yellow tags. There's one. Duck River. Don't know that. I know Duck River coaches the they coach the Bucks, but don't know Duck River. Not familiar with Duck River. Arrow. Not a lot of yellow tags to help. For midweek, this is the middle of the week. There is a Polo Ralph Lauren thick cotton sweater for five bucks, I'm sure. Five bucks. Not bad. It's got a little stain there, but I'm just not going to get it. It's nothing special. I mean, it would sell. I'm sure some people would, would get it, and it's totally fine. But me, no. Alan Flusser, I'm telling you, I have this sitting in my store. Some of my friends sell it. I just can't get I don't know. It just doesn't like me, Alan Flusser. So I don't get Alan Flusser anymore until it starts selling better for me. But it got to get like that paisley, crazy color, maybe 100% linen, something like that. Of course, we're finding a lot of George and all that sort of stuff throughout here. Chemical Reaction, the use, the use. Perry Ellis, Dan Houston, Coldwater Club. Usually, it's Coldwater Creek. Tommy Bahama. So there's a Tommy Bahama that I would not pick up. So this is 100% silk, long sleeve, large, but it's just got nothing special about it. You really don't find a lot of large or uh, long sleeve silk. So that's kind of unique. What is this? South Pole? South Pole. Okay, so we have yellow South Pole. Hopefully they have some South Pole jeans. More Alan Flusser cotton. Not interested in it. But now I'm excited to go over to the jeans. Is there a Y2K South Pole shirt? be awesome to have Y2K South Pole jeans. I do get Polar Ralph Lauren shirts. As you know, this is my favorite brand and favorite seller. But I don't get the ones with numbers. Only with letters. Only with letters. Numbers are harder to sell because it's the next size and the length of the sleeve. You're just a harder seller because you're niching, you're niching yourself down really, really far when it comes to that. Yellow tag suits. This one doesn't seem like a very nice suit. It's not. You can just tell by the texture of them if they're good or not good. This doesn't seem very nice either. And Yomo, now this has got a good tweed to it. See that herringbone? Let's see what the buttons look like. They don't have leather buttons, so it probably isn't a Harris Tweed. It's a Barrington. It's not. Harris Tweed would be right here, and that's what you'd want to look for, a Harris Tweed blazer. But that one wasn't, so we're going to pass on it. Don't know that one either. This looks nice. It's a Van Houston Flex. Probably nice for the personal, but not for the resale. Not for me. Alan Flusser again. Someone wore their Alan Flusser and loved their Alan Flusser in the store. They loved it so much, and then they just decided to get more of it and donate their old stuff that they had. All right, let's keep looking. Ooh, now how about those? These were unique. How about that with those flowers? Patagonia. Yeah, we love Patagonia. Three ninety nine for these. Have, ooh, look, and check this out. So see that strip right there? See how it's got that stitching right there? Look, see how that one has that stitching right there? Bet you that's Patagonia, and it's got the yellow tag. It is. So Patagonia, two of them. Uh, these are $3.99 each. Yeah, we'll get those. They'll probably sell for around $25 each, $23 each. Really short inseam, like three inch. So we'll look at these. Again, got to look up that good American here in a little bit. But pretty good on those Patagonia. Glad we found those. That helps. That helps. Aeropostale, I don't pick up mall. Actually, I don't think I've ever picked up Aeropostale anything. Every once in a while, I'll pick up a mall brand. 
definitely like patchwork shorts like this where all the individual pieces are stitched together not ones with with nasty stuff like that on it but those are gap anyway brooks brothers or this obviously polo ralph lauren those are what i'm looking for we might have to get a carton and then there's another pair uh the patchwork short see that these seem a little bit cheaper but it might not be i don't know what they are i don't know what brand these are but if they're not polo ralph lauren which they'd be right there i'm not too worried about what they are not gonna get and they're red so they've been here a minute been here a minute so not gonna get those Keep looking through here. Some sweatpants. So I don't find a lot of good sweatpants. I have found some in the past. I've actually found Ralph Lauren purple label sweatpants before. That was probably the best pair I've ever found. But sometimes you'll find like Viore stuck in here. But most of the time it's really pulled up pants. Just not interested in them. Harry Ellis. 505s. Carbon. Armani. Armani jeans with a giant blowout. Someone ate too many beans. Too many beans. So, not going to get that. Uh, let's see. Is this Axel? Yeah, that Axel company. They, they look like real. It looked like BKE, to be honest. But I don't pick them up. Because they just don't sell very well. These are really nice little New Balances, too. But they're kids and pretty worn. Not going to get those. Shoes have to be in... They either have to be a really good shoe for me to want to wash them, or they have to be in just good condition and bring me like a $20 profit, where I just have to take pictures of them and not have to wash them or clean them. Okay, looking at J. Crew. These are interesting. What are these J. Crew pants? I've never seen anything like that. J. Crew pants. Like painter's pants. J. Crew blue painter's pants. I don't know. Those are pretty interesting, though. I've never seen those. Never have I ever seen them. And Kirkland. Kirkland is making wannabe Lululemon. Check this out. The front button looks just like Lululemon. Gotta be careful. But here's your secret. Here's your knowledge. Here's your tip. You look at the button. Flip it over. If it doesn't have a Lululemon sig signal. Lululemon little emblem. They're not real. While I'm not speaking correctly. Right, there's some people around. Gotta get around them. But yeah, there's no Lululemon on the other side of the button. They're not gonna be Lululemon. So that's just a quick check. So if you're like, oh, those look like Lululemon, just a quick check. Clip it over. They're not there. They're not Lululemon. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And there's another pair. So again, if I thought if these did not have, see how they look just like Lululemon? If they didn't have the Kirkland, I would just slip over this. And see that there is uh, no Lululemon emblem on there. Sorry if that was a little close. But I'm just showing you what I know. Alright, let's go look at the all these men's clothing. So I think we have some short sleeve and long sleeves through here. Again, looking for black. Looking for black and yellow. Mostly yellow. Mostly yellow. Fever. So the Indiana Fever are now here. And obviously they're... They've always been here in Indianapolis, but we just got Caitlin Clark, and she is a beast. So I'm definitely going to be looking at Fever stuff. This thing is pilled, so I'm not going to get it. But Fever stuff, I think, is going to start selling where I live. Probably has nothing to do with you guys, but definitely be on the lookout for sports teams that are good or have new players or whatever, popular sports teams, whether it be basketball, um, anything like that. Here is a... Johnny O with an A on it. Jet Access. Jet Access. Jet Access. Let's look at that. You know what? Let's look at the Good American, too. So let's do that together. We're going to get out the phone. We're going to go to eBay. We're going to look up um, Jet Access. Um, Johnny... I do Johnny is Geo and Johnny O. Let's see if anything comes up. Nope. Jet Access Polo. Let's see if a polo comes up. It's another brand. Hmm, there we go. Peter Millar, Jet Access. Okay, so there's one. Peter Millar. 
with the Jet Access logo on it. You can see right there, Summer Comfort. There's that logo. Um, and you can buy it for $15 right now. So I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. But while we're here, let's look, look up those Good American. So Good American, I think they look like a snake. Good American snake pants. Oops, spelled pants wrong. <laughs> Better spell it right. Pants, snake pants. And there they are, brand new. You can buy them for $36. So those are probably going to be a no-go for sure. You can buy those new for $36. That's what I'd be looking at for resale, somewhere in like around $30. So that's definitely going to be a no-go on those. So we'll put those back here in a little bit when we're in the women's section. Definitely getting the Patagonia. Get, but getting the flax and the Patagonia just dropped on the floor. Definitely getting all that. Put it back. Going to pass on that Johnny Yellow. I know probably could sell, but... I just looked at the Peter Millar, which is a comparable brand, and it's just not not doing it. If I can buy it for $15, it's not worth it. Pure Irish linen. It's a women's shirt, the way the buttons are, but there's no brand. So it's really hard to sell that on platforms like eBay. There's a Michigan. Michigan Wolverines with a big old pole in it. Can't have that pole. Can't have that pole. All right, so right now we're probably at like um, $15 profit, another 15 so $30 profit. Let's say 20 so about $50 profit in this one store so far. And that's, that's profit. That's after fees. I kind of do that all on my head. As far as like buy cost, then how much you're going to take. There's a carbon to cobalt blue, but it's got a nice little pull on it. And I bought a ton of carbon to cobalt recently. It's got that dual layer too. I'm going to leave that one behind. There's a really bad looking Under Armour. Not getting that one. Can't get it. Can't get it. By the way, thanks for joining. Thanks for coming in. I'd like to teach. That's what I did for 13 years as a teacher. So hopefully you learned some stuff I'm always learning. Land's End. That one we learned a long time ago. It's not a good seller. And that's a cool sweater, but not worth anything. Michael Edwards, not worth anything. Foot Locker, nope. That's the rolling out. We'll see if they roll something new out. That's what we want. Captain Morgan, Parrot Bay. This is an older tag, not single stitch. Um, so I'm not going to get that. But good luck. Look at that. That's a kid's. That's got a kid. That Tommy Hilfiger, that could be something decent. Polar Ralph Lauren 3XB. Uh, it's got stains all over it. That's too bad. This Polar Ralph Lauren 3XB would have been a good pickup. I'm dropping some stuff. I should get a cart, huh? But yeah, the Polar Ralph Lauren would have probably been a good pickup. Polo Jeans Company. I don't pick up Polo Jeans Company. People ask me all the time. Polo Jeans Company. Very, very seldom. Has to be like something Y2K denim for me to get them. Otherwise, it's a, usually a hard pass for me on them. We also will look through the hard goods, by the way, because I sell everything. I will sell anything that's worth some money. Look at that. What is that? Alley, that looks, that's old. I don't know. Problem is, I just don't know what that is. Probably just some local theme, but that's just so cool. I love vintage stuff. I love hard good vintage stuff. I love history. I love all that stuff. But that's just, I don't know. This is 21 Palms by, I'm pretty sure, 28 Palms. I mean, I'm pretty sure Tommy Bahama makes that. I think. Not 100%. Not 100%. Right. Hey, how you doing? Right. Good. Good seeing you. All right, we'll keep going. Guys, you always have to be nice to the employees. They're our friends. Italy, nope. I'm also looking at shoes while I'm walking. These Clarks, really nice, but not going to get them. I'm kind of looking at shoes as I'm walking by. They're right above me. This store usually doesn't have, We actually, we don't, in India in general, we don't really have a lot of good shoes. Ooh, okay, now we're in a predicament. Ah, okay, here's a Johnny O. Brand new with tags. Probably $5. It is $5. See how they're yellow? New tag of the week. Midwest Design Group. I just don't think that's worth it. I know it sounds crazy, but you can get these Johnny O's new tags at TJ Maxx for about $25, $29.
probably about thirty dollars. Um, with that Midwest group, I just don't think. Maybe I'm making a mistake, but I just don't. I know people can take that out. I'm definitely not taking it out. I'm all about profits. I don't like projects, but someone could buy that and take it out and wear it. But I'm not gonna do it, especially being getting into the later part of the summer. I don't want to be that person. Cactus, cactus. I don't know. Cactus is older, obviously. Okay, getting back to the yellow. Carry. A band. Ooh, pull over up Lauren Blake. That one I saw last time. See, it has that blue tag I saw last time. It has a lot of stains on it. I actually found a ton of pull over up Lauren here the last time. Actually, I filmed a video on it. Um, so it's one of my videos. I did like a full day, eight hour thrift and talked about all the profit I made. You can catch that. Let's see, Proline. Nope. I was looking at some shoes again. Proline shoes. Nope. It's P. I thought that was um that X like um the X with the, it's called ten thousand. Thought that's what that was. It's not. Oh, you're good. You're good. Thank you. All right. We'll get through there. I got polo with that too before. Not interested in it. Some ties. A little bit of yellow, cropped and bar. I don't see any really good colorways or anything, chaps. We'll go, uh huh. We'll go look at this. We're gonna go look over here at the coats. At the coats and jackets. This is the time of year. Look how packed this is. No one is buying this stuff right now, which is perfect time to buy. So no one's buying. That's when you want to buy, right? No one's buying. That's what you want. And then. When people are buying, you're going to have that inventory, and you're going to be selling it for good money. Okay, I'm going to get, I'm going to throw this on my shoulder. I still have this flax and all this stuff. I'm going to put it up here so we can look at stuff. See if we can find anything. Okay, we found nothing through there. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna go down to the women's jeans section, see if we can find anything. We'll, we'll, we'll look through the shorts a little bit though. It's still a good time of year. Maybe find some Diori, some Judy Blues, some Lily Pulitzer, Lily Peace. Not really seeing much right now, but those are what I'd be looking for. There, and there they are. How about that, just like that, Judy Blue. Tony, we talk about it. These were from Stitch Fix. Let's take that tag off. We don't need it. But there you go. Judy Blue jeans, size 27, jean shorts. We're definitely gonna snag those. Brand new tags, and they are gonna be $3.99. These still, I think I sell these for around like $28 in new condition. I bought a whole bunch at a like flea, or a long highway sale, and they did well. So. Again, found those. So now it makes me think maybe there'll be some in the jeans section. What size were they again? Um, they were size 27. So we need to make sure we look at 27s in the jeans section. They might have some new tags over there. I don't know who donates Judy Blue. Brand new tags. But I tell you what, keep doing it. If you're listening to this, keep doing it. I'll take them. Noma, nope. Rona, nope. Rona, Corona. Sonoma, all of them. We don't want any of that. Tinseltown. Tinseltown always tricks me. It looks nice. New with tags. Time is true. Ink in them. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. Okay. We're going to go look at jeans. Jeans, jeans, jeans. Yellow tag jeans. All right, let's go. Flying Monkey. That used to be a good brand at one point. It's a very high-end, expensive brand. But the, the resale's not good, especially in this small. I mean, we're looking at twos right now. These are itty-bitties. Itty-bitties. It'd have to be like a pair of mother jeans for me to get a size two. But there's still people that wear them. I wanna, not trying to thin anybody. All right, Burvitt. Nope, nope, nope. All right, now we're getting, getting a little bit bigger. All right, so skipping all those, looking at just the blue. There's some sweatpants hanging out with the jeans. 
I just want to hang out today together. We'll get separated later today. Where are those? Ah, Yasmin. I don't know Yasmin, but I was hoping they were Judy Blue. There's mud. Sometimes mud jeans can be really good if they have the stitching all the way down. Those did not. Or maybe mud. Again, mud. Y2K mud, by the way. Y2K mud. Not like the newer mud. But yeah, Y2K mud can do well. There's some loft brand new with tags. Not getting them. And wax seams. Nope. 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 What do we have here? Cabin Klein? Nope. 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 Nathan Eagle? Nope. Alright. We're trying. We're trying. We're trying toward. Nope. Okay. Lots of yellow tags over here. Let's find something. Let's find something, crew. Venus? Nope. Glory Vanderbilt? But again, I'm not really well versed with the women's clothing. I just know some brands. So if you see something, yell at me in the comments later on so I know what I missed. Next time I won't make that mistake again. Another pair of new. Not a really good brand. Alright, we're in the 14s now. So I think we're we're out of the maybe Judy Blue new tag section. But this is about where I end up. These I'll go over to the scrubs. I don't really go through any of the other sections because I hit other Goodwills other than the hard goods. So we'll go to the hard goods. But yeah, so I don't go through all the stuff here because I have so many Goodwills in my town and other thrift stores. But I want to make sure I hit all of them as many as I can with all the new inventory that they put out. Okay, so over here we're going to look at scrubs. We'll be looking at figs for the most part. Don't really see any. I can tell right away, especially why the waistband if they're figs. None of those are figs. I'm not gonna look at any of that. So we'll go down and look at the we'll go down and look at the hard goods. How about that? How about that? How about that? Oh yeah. Oh the wall new part too. By the way. We gotta look at these. I forgot they moved this section over here. Oh sweatshirts and stuff. I moved over here. Boom baby, let's go pacers. Nope, giants, nope. 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 Kind of going through this kind of fast. You can tell. Look Patagonia. Look, Patagonia shirt. Two ninety nine. Still not a lot of meat on the bones there, unfortunately. So I'm not gonna get them. Not gonna get it. Oh, this this is not the new cart. This is the dress cart with all the dresses. So we're not gonna be looking through there. All right. Let's go look at the hard goods. So I never really looked through the glass and china section. But definitely look through over here. I didn't see any over here. Off of that, on the floor, maybe you find some good vacuum cleaner. Um, but definitely look through here. Maybe find like a TI calculator, TI 84 calculator. Um, sometimes you can find some decent remote controls. I'll just look those up, and they do okay. Uh, what else do I look for over here? Oh, ink for sure, ink. One of my big things. I don't see any of the calculators that I'm looking for. And then, skirt, right behind us, we have our sporting goods. They have not had good sporting goods here for a long time. So, yeah. That's where we are there. So, yeah, we can look down this section. Don't really see much down here. And that's it. That is it. So, we're going to go ahead and get this flax. We're going to get this Patagonia. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. These Judy Blues. So it's probably, let's talk about profits. Probably $20, another 30 so there's 50 another 20 So about $70 profit in this store. And we were in here, I don't know, 27 minutes, 28 minutes, something like that. We're going to go ahead and check out of this store. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully the next one will have a lot more good stuff. Always appreciate you being here. I'll see you in the next one.